Welcome to Wealthy Academy. Learn how to be healthy, wealthy, and get happiness with KOKOSHUNGSAN. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell for the latest updates. If you like it, please like, share it, and leave comments. Thanks for your support and for helping us make the world a better place. In this video, I'll show you how you can create and insert your autoresponder HTML code to your website. Okay, so once you have created the autoresponder and inserted the necessary messages, so this is how you do it. Okay, first you go to messages. This is the first part of the screen, okay? Once you log in, this is the first page that you see. Okay, so you click messages here. Okay, as you can see, this is the first message. So since this is uh, an easing or newsletter subscribe uh, online newsletter, so I only have my first message, and the rest will be manually sent. Okay, so look at this uh, options. So in order for you to uh, generate the code, you click on this link, generate code. So I click here. Okay. So the form fields, you'll tick what are the what are the uh, things that you want to appear on the form. Okay, there are a lot of uh, things that you can ask. There are a lot of fields that you can actually insert, but it's not that necessary to have all of these especially if you are only publishing an easing or a online newsletter so for me I will only ask the first name I will not ask the middle and the last name and if you click on mandatory that means the prospect must write down their name on the field if they don't write anything there and they click submit button you will go to an error page so if you click on mandatory that will happen if not uh, the prospect can actually just leave the link blank and manage to uh, be subscribed to the autoresponder which is of course not that good so we will I will personally uh, choose mandatory okay so company name department street address is all not necessary for me um, I think that's all the email is understood they will the field will automatically be uh, uh, created so go check the main autoresponder okay this is the, your autoresponder to the easing and you can choose some of these uh, options if you want to track you can also include a tracking tag if you want these tags will actually um, track for you let's say you have uh, many pages okay you have you want to put this uh, HTML form or this email capture form on many pages of your website so you can track let you can track you put a uh, tracking tag page one tracking tag uh, page two or tracking tag uh, on the uh, whatever pages that you wish to put to include the uh, form so you will uh, make this uh, unique text and you will include it in to your autoresponder to the HTML code okay so from there when you click on the subscribers here show list I'll show you an example it's a bit slow please bear with me Okay, I show you an example. You can see here this tracking tag. If it's none, that means I do not specify anything. There's webmaster video or 21 secrets. So these are the tags. That means I will know that actually this person, this guy, this email address, okay, he subscribed from a form which is uh, from my ebook, webmaster video ebook. And this email, this guy Dino, okay, 
he subscribed to my autoresponder from my 21 secrets ebook so that's how you track okay so it's a good uh, method to know how effective your uh, advertising is so after you have chosen all this then you can also click here to offer them choice of form format whether they want uh, HTML or not okay and you can write anything here I, I prefer to have the form button text as a uh, click here to subscribe so I li I write it okay so once you have generated everything so you can generate the code by clicking here okay so we have the code right now so you have to include all this to your HTML uh, your website okay your HTML page okay so I just um, select all this and I click copy go to my front page so of course you have to have your page ready so this is my uh, sales letter page or not sales letter page my uh, easing page okay my online newsletter page after everything is done so I want to include the code or the email capture form here so I go to HTML and, and I paste it go back normal or preview so this is how it looks like okay so you can adjust it, adjust it. Okay. So this is how we do it. So when you upload this uh, page to your website, this is the page that your viewers or your prospects will see. Okay, and they will subscribe it by writing their name here and their email address here. And once they click this subscribe button, they will be subscribed to your easing and then you can follow up with them okay so that's all for this tutorial it's quite straightforward and easy thank you for watching and i see you again in other video series goodbye in this video i'll walk you through on how to create your email capture form which is to be placed on your lead capture page or your squeeze page and this is my parabots.com autoresponder system the script which I install on my own server and you can get this script by going to parabots.com p-a-r-a-b-o-t-s.com and you can get the autoresponder from there and you can install the script on your server then now I'm in the admin area and I just click on the view autoresponders over here the option so assuming that you have already created your autoresponder account now in order for me to get the form codes I just click on this icon over here and now I'm given a series of options for me to choose on what do I want to collect from my subscriber the first part and of course the thing that is the most important is the email address because it is needed to follow up with the subscriber and the first name and you can optionally you can choose to ask for the last name if you want and also there are other fields that you, you can fill in or you can choose to ask from the subscriber but be warned that the more options or the more fields that you require from your, your subscriber to fill in the less likely they are going to um, do that process because it will be much more of a hassle to them so depending on your marketing strategy most of the time for most people giving or asking less information is the best some marketers even do not even ask for the first name they just ask for the email address because that's how important the email address is and that's the most easiest way for prospect to subscribe just a one-time uh, type of the email address and that's it okay so I won't be taking on all these fields or on all these checks bo uh, check boxes and over here you have another option if you want to automatically remove the subscriber from the following autoresponder so for example if you have another autoresponder 
for example test one uh, test two test three test four and let's see if the subscriber subscribes on this test autoresponder you may want to remove them from another autoresponder to avoid duplicate so I'll just put it as none in the thank you page URL you can optionally choose where you want to redirect the visitors to normally you will create this thank you page separately on a page and upload it to your server and then you will enter this URL so that URL will basically have the thank you uh, page where you thank the subscriber for subscribing and the subscribe button so I just type uh, you can just edit over here the subscription button message click here to subscribe and this is the RSS subscription box I'll just leave this uh, unchecked so once everything is ready just click on the generate form it's taking quite some time Okay, there you, see, you can see the sample email capture form here. And this is the code. So just copy all the code. Right click, press copy. And when I go to my front page, okay, this is an example, a sample uh, squeeze page. So we'll fill in the code below here. We want, to, we, we want the form to appear below here, below this line. So I go to my split code. Or I can just go. I can also go to the code view. Let's bring this window up. Okay. Since okay. So over here, I just right click and paste. The code has been pasted, and you can see the table has been pasted, but let's align this to the center okay and let's preview you can see the form has been placed over here so similarly now I'm on my Dreamweaver just click here and go to the split code and paste the code here and again just uh, select this form and align it as center so let's save this and I press F12 of my keyboard to preview and there you go the form is here it has been placed so thank you for watching and I see you again in the other video series